Welcome to your Saturday morning practice, everyone. This is my spontaneous Tai Chi practice. I did it out in nature and I did it for you focused on more the low back, the pelvis and just rotation. These simple but profound principles of Tai Chi. So I'm going to start as I often do by getting really grounded and also just opening up all the joints with some shaking. So spontaneous Qigong really good for activating your entire system and also for releasing tension, kind of getting the joints to lubricate with its synovial fluid. And I like to get a little funky. I like to breathe nice and deeply. And I'm coming into connection with my, uh, my balance here. So shifting and shaking the ankles out left to right. And just becoming more aware of my posture in space, even as I shake. Ah, so letting the weight drop off our shoulders for today. And then pausing here as you breathe. And just kind of notice what you feel from your spontaneous shaking. Tai Chi posture is focused on bringing the weight into the lower body and tucking the tailbone down. So I call this dropping my dragon's tail. My sit bones drop down to the earth. So we'll talk more about that. But right now, just kind of arching the spine both ways. This will open up your entire spine. So pressing into the knees to round and then stretching through the belly. This really just really helps open and mobilize your spine and all the muscles around the spine. And you can begin to slow down your movements as well. Tai Chi all about slow intentional movements. So doing some shoulder rolls forward and back a couple times. Think about inhaling a little more deeply as you do one part of the movement and exhaling to accommodate the other part. Merging that circular breath with these circular movements. So feeling your feet always as you do these and lengthening through the crown of your head, that's the first treasure in integral Tai Chi. And for our low body practice today, we're always gonna be moving from our center. Let's enjoy a couple beautiful breaths together too. And this gentle movement will help open up the hips and the pelvis. Uh, the whole body, really. You don't have to do a lot of efforting to get a lot of beautiful results, meaning activation within your body and also the benefits of a relaxed nervous system. So here we go. You're going to inhale with me. Fill your belly, ribs, and chest. And as you do, it's like you're gathering something from all around you. Exhale. You just wash the hands in front of you. Maybe you're clearing away stress. And then you're bringing in the good. And I'm in nature, so I can just bring in all that beautiful oxygen. Imagine it radiating and filling my pores. And then exhale, I can imagine it distributing deeply within me. So these visualizations can help keep my mind in the present moment and in my practice rather than on the to-do list or the what was list. Gathering breath. The movement's easy, just a gentle hinge and like you're reaching up for something, something that's precious, something that you're looking for. And exhale, you wash whatever that is, you bathe yourself in it. You want the breath to try to drop down into the lower lungs and fill the lungs bottom to top. Exhale, we want to slow the exhale. This really can allow the brain waves to start to soften and for us to really start to sink into our homeostasis uh, rejuvenation. It's called the Qigong state. Tai Chi state, Qigong state, Qigong birthed Tai Chi. It's a movement practice many things <laughs> it's also it's a movement practice but it's many things so moving on to our main focus today weight shift so my feet are about shoulder width apart my knees are slightly bent my tailbone is tucked under my spine is lengthening up and my spine is a pole 
called the Tai Chi pole. And I'm literally going to move my Tai Chi pole. Relaxed shoulders there. <laughs> Arms and shoulders along for the ride. You're going to move that pole from side to side, your spine, the pole, with your weight shift, with the pouring and moving of energy from one leg to the other. Simple movement, but it's a strong movement from center. You're moving as one. Breathe in and out to support the movement. Hands just gracing the space in front of you. Good. Head still lengthening on top. This time adding on some rotation. This will open up the hips. So we're going to turn my waist into the same direction that we are solid on. Right? The other side empty. But now we're going to fill the right side and empty the left. Right side solid. So waist turning right. That will generate the power to shift back from my nice stable so just tuning into that movement of my pelvis shifting side to side to move the whole spine and then rotating the belly now that belly is activated to move me back this will help open up the obliques the abdominals the uh, quadratus lumborum the little deep muscle in the back It'll help begin to open and rinse the internal organs, but very gently. We're not, we're not efforting a twist. We're rotating the belly. We're rotating the entire torso. So now let your arms go. So as you reach back, the arms are open now at a comfortable position. And you just explore that rotation in the pelvis with the weight shift. This is called swimming dragon shift and rotate. So now this, my pelvis is literally, I'm going to drop into something called silk reeling now, but the pelvis movement is the same shifting weight into my left leg. Exhale. I turn and rotate the pelvis. So focusing on that here, moving the Tai Chi pole with that strong core energy and then rotating it back. So now this movement in my pelvis, this mobilization of my pelvis is not just side to side, but it is a, uh, it's more of an infinity or a figure eight, which is going to stretch all the fascial connections, the front, the back, the side to side, because we're moving in a circular and um, complete honoring of the hips the ball and socket joints of the hips at the same time the lengthening up of the spine here as i exhale i'm bringing my hand towards me that helps elongate and strengthen the postural muscles and helps us move in a unified whole so that's it. That's the movement. I invite you to take a moment to notice how you feel after that simple Tai Chi principle movement. I hope you feel good. I certainly did and do. Um, thank you so much for dropping in for this low body, uh, spinal focused Tai Chi, integral Tai Chi. We'll catch you next time. Stay well.